Are you somebody that says or thinks that the Security Plus from CompTIA is useless? Well, if so, then this video is for you because we're gonna talk about it and why the Security Plus is or isn't useless. But first, welcome to the channel or welcome back. My name is John Good and here we talk all about cybersecurity. If you enjoy the content, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. Also make sure to check out the description for more training and resources. All right, let's do this. So this video was inspired by a comment that I received regarding my video on top cybersecurity certifications. The comment basically says that the Security Plus is useless and that the PNPT from TCM Security, which is from the Cyber Mentor here on YouTube, it's the certification that he made, and the EJPT from eLearn Security are worth much more. But is that true? Based on this comment, I want to talk about the Security Plus specifically and take an objective look, like I always do at everything, about the certification and how it plays into a career. Once we do that, I'll give you my opinion and you can make your own educated judgment about the certification with all the facts. First of all, let's talk about what the Security Plus is and what information you more or less are gonna know by the time that you're certified. Let's go ahead and pull up the website from CompTIA. So this is the website for the Security Plus. If we go ahead and we scroll down here, we can see that this certification meets the DOD 8140 or formerly the 8570, which is just a mandate that requires certain certifications for specific roles by the Department of Defense here in the US. But the things you're gonna learn, attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities, architecture and design, implementation, operations and incident response, governance, risk, and compliance. The Security Plus really is a broad and kind of high level certification that gets you exposed to a lot of the general terminology that you're going to be needing in your career in cybersecurity. If we scroll down here, we see organizations that employ people with a Security Plus, so Target, Netflix, Splunk. We see some different job titles, Security Administrator, System Administrator, Network Cloud Engineer, IT Auditors. The thing with the Security Plus is a whole bunch of different roles have this certification, either by requirement or just because it's a really good one to have and gives you kind of that broad exposure. And then if we scroll a little bit more down here, we can see information about the exam. So SY0601 is the current version. You're gonna learn about IoT and mobile and all those other things that we already said. It's a 90 question exam. You get multiple choice and performance-based questions, 90 minutes to take the actual exam. You have to score 750 to pass. And then it's $381. So you can see that the Security Plus has a broad reach of topics but it's meant for somebody who's relatively new to the industry and definitely somebody who's new to cybersecurity. Even if you look at the detailed objectives, you aren't gonna learn about hacking an iPhone or something crazy, but you'll at least have familiarity with common terminology. There's definitely a large group of people that are watching this video that are the target audience for the Security Plus. Since I'm addressing a specific question, let's take a quick look at the PNPT website and the EJPT website so that you can see those certifications too. So this is the website for the PNPT. If we go ahead and scroll down here, we'll see that you're gonna learn about open source intelligence, active directory exploitation. Scroll down here and we see a little bit more. Practical ethical hacking, Linux priv escalation, Windows priv escalation, and again, open source intelligence. So we can see that on this certification, you're gonna learn a lot about penetration testing. So penetration testing specific Thanks. This is the website for the EJPT or the eLearn Security Junior Penetration Testing Certification. If we scroll down here, and just by the name, you probably have a good idea about it, but you're gonna see very similar things. So using Metasploit, vulnerability assessments, security assessments. Again, this is a penetration testing certification where you're going to learn about those specific things. So it's going to be very targeted. It's pretty obvious that both the PNPT and the EJPT are for learning penetration testing, which from a high level, these types of jobs make up a very small amount of jobs in cybersecurity. Okay, so now let's take a look at Indeed and let's search for the certifications to see how many jobs come back. Now, the first search that I did was Security Plus and Cyber. The reason why I did that is because if you just search for Security Plus, you're going to get a ton of results that are not applicable because of that plus sign. So I just further refine that search so it'd be more accurate. But we had 53,000 results come back. Now the thing that I want you to see here is that a lot of jobs list this certification. So we have penetration testing jobs, we have cybersecurity analyst, 
and IT and all kinds of different jobs that are gonna list this certification. When we go to search for the PNPT, we only have six results. So what kind of jobs do we see? Well, we see penetration testing jobs primarily, and then one security operations engineer job. When we search for the EJPT, we get similar kind of results. So 16 jobs come back. Again, there are a lot of penetration tester jobs. So it's a very specific job that's coming back for that certification. Honestly, searching for jobs and the certifications that are listed is one of the most important things that you can do. A vendor can have the best certification in the world for content, but it means absolutely nothing if employers aren't asking for it. Now, I'm not saying these other certifications don't have value, but we only have so much time and money to study this stuff, so we have to prioritize our efforts. When you're very early on in your career, you wanna to appeal to the most employers possible because you don't have specialized experience typically to stand out from the crowd. It's hard enough to get a cybersecurity job early on, but if you're gonna go for one of those small areas of cybersecurity, the jobs are gonna be that much more competitive. Another point that you should consider is that if you're gonna work for an employer, you have to consider what they're wanting because they have the money and they're gonna make the rules. If you're gonna work for yourself or not work at all, then it really doesn't matter, but you're making it a lot harder on yourself if you try to resist what they're asking for. Question of the day, which cybersecurity certification are you studying for or are you planning on pursuing? Let me know down in the comment section below. So after all that, I'm sure you're wondering what my opinion is of the Security Plus. The Security Plus just has too much value to disregard. To be honest, the certification does a good job of giving you broad and high level exposure to the topics that you're gonna face in cybersecurity. And based on how many employers want the certification, you'd be crazy to ignore it. It's not even that difficult of a certification. Just do it. At the end of the day, you have to make the decision on what's worth it, but I hope this video has helped. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more training and resources, and I'll see you next time.